Senate President Jude Hofschneider directing the sergeant at arms to escort Saipan resident Fabian Indelesho out, saying his comments during Monday morning's session, which were critical of the lawmakers, were out of line. Search. Escort Mr. Indelesho to his seat. He was questioning the timing of the session amid the legislature's disagreement on when and where the governor's state of the Commonwealth speech should be held. The last address was four years ago, though the Constitution mandates a report annually. But it was the moments after the public comments that the Senate seemed to fall into chaos when Rhoda Senator Victor Hokuk allegedly wanted to scrap. Members, 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 members. The Senate's live stream catching the audio of President Hofschneider pleading to lawmakers, showing at least one sergeant-at-arms rushing to the other side of the chamber. The audience's faces seemingly disturbed. It's what happened outside that paints a clearer picture, and Alesho calling the police, live streaming their response, describing what the cameras didn't capture. Victor uh, Hokuk decided to uh, no scream out, no f and uh, stood up and no charged in my direction until you know, the... Uh, the sergeant at arm have to you know, block him, uh, you know, from uh, coming to my direction. He continued documenting the police response. At least three cop cars arriving at the legislature. He tells KUAM he filed a complaint against the sitting senator. The Senate's live stream shows Senator Hokog back at his seat moments after. Police say they take the matter seriously. Those are my life. We we're, we're taking this thing seriously. You can see the amount of uh, police that are here. But it's unclear what happens next. Senator Paul Manglonia, who also ended up in a near fist fight earlier this year with Hawkeye over the governor's impeachment trial, gave his witness statement. He told officers that he's also still waiting for the final police report from that incident. Really a common practice in the scene of my Senate that if somebody comes and says something you don't like, you go out and beat him up. That's why I feel uh, for a the events portraying that the state of the Commonwealth is divided. Meanwhile, the governor's speech could take place on October 31st without a joint session. The House adopted its own resolution calling for the speech on December 1st, after the general election. KUAM has reached out to Senator Hokug and Senate President Hofschneider for comment. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News.